New York City's schools chancellor doubles down on his plan to change the Department of Education's direction. CBS 2's John Diaz has reaction to David Banks' vision for the city's public schools. He's done his homework and knows the facts. With that, the city schools chancellor, David Banks, is giving the department he inherited a failing grade. There are huge parts of the system which have been broken uh, for a long time and need to change. His main priority, he says, changing the way kids learn how to read. He wants to use a proven phonics based system so that each student can read by the third grade. Over the last 20, 25 years, we went to a different approach to reading called whole language. You know, it's its own strategy, but it has not worked well enough for what we need here in New York City. Bang says he knew going into this job that wrong-headed programs have resulted in a staggering 65% of minority students graduating without being able to read. Many parents we spoke with say it's time the city acknowledges they've been neglecting these kids. They're passing them like that, just, just putting them to the side. Let, let's get them out of here. They need to, to step it up a notch. Do you have faith in the system? Tell myself. <laughs> Not really. Many parents think this new approach will only help, but the department should also concentrate more attention on traditional resource rooms. You go to a classroom, you get a teacher one on one, helping with reading, things like that. Banks's new plan also includes adding new screening methods to identify dyslexia at an early age and making sure each student graduates with a diploma and a pathway to a good job. Yesterday, the mayor weighed in on Banks's new vision. If you are not part of this team and committed to finally turning around this bureaucracy, that is professionalized and has professionalized failing children. That this is not the moment to be in this administration. And Chancellor Banks says in order to streamline the department and push dollars into schools, he eliminated five executive superintendent positions, saving millions of dollars. And now he is questioning why so many people are needed in borough offices. We're talking about thousands of people. From Lower Manhattan, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.